Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are super excited to react to this video. It is a sponsored video. Woohoo! So thank you so much to Samuel Wynn for sponsoring today's video. We are reacting to a new artist. This is Sam Kim, who is an R&B Korean pop singer. Let me just make sure that's correct. So Sam Kim is a K R&B artist, so a Korean pop R&B artist, and we've never heard him before. This is a onstage performance, so I'm assuming it's like live acoustic, it seems like live acoustic recording, and this is of makeup. If this is your first time on our channel, we are Chase and Malia, and we are voice teachers. It is our favorite thing in the world to talk about singing, singing to, to, to try to sing stuff ourselves, and mm -hmm. what we do with these videos is we try to take these professionals and learn as much as we can, and hopefully teach you something as well at the same time. Absolutely. So if that's something that sounds appealing to you, please hit that subscribe button. I have chills. Really? Sorry, I had to stop it for a moment. Beautiful. Because, I mean, I know this is a short video, and I'm so sorry to start, stop it right there, but even right off the bat, like, not a super exciting part of the voice, typically, and really vibrant already. Oh, my gosh. Well, and I was I was going to say that a lot of people, when they whisper sing, mm. I'm not a fan. Absolutely. You know, I, I, I think it has a lot of, like, just, just but he's just, he's just, day. he's just singing lightly. Mm -hmm. He's not whisper singing. La, 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 la. Yeah. Gorgeous. Full, like we were just talking about this in the car the other day yeah. because sometimes when I'm practicing, I am not practicing with a full efficient voice, kind of this whisper singing that you're talking mm -hmm. about. And I think a lot of times artists too, I am very guilty of this. Mm -hmm. When you want to bring down the dynamics or even yeah. the volume, yeah. you take away the energy, which takes away the efficiency and the resonance of your mm -hmm. sound. And that is not what is happening here. And it's <laughs> almost like harder on your voice yeah. to sing that quietly and all that kind of stuff. And I think that he's doing such a great job oh, yeah. with just singing lightly. And, it, and that's what made me really love it actually a lot. So I'm really sorry, but I need to go back to the beginning because I want to address an example of what we were talking about with like, not the beginning, beginning, but like the beginning lower phrases of how his voice was resonant in a place that's not exciting. Exciting. <laughs> Mm. Sorry, no, go for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's what makes me think that he's oh. just lightly singing with his full voice, um, even though it's lower and it's more intimate, it's more Absolutely. quiet. Absolutely. Because all he, when he when he goes right up into the middle of his voice, it's still really clear, really free, really yeah. full. La, la, la. If you did that when you were whispering, you'd be like, la, la, la. It would, it la. would. La. Yeah. But that sounds like, la, la, la. I think you used it's all gorgeous. three words that I would use too. Clear. It's still really clear, something in full. There Resonant? Two, no. Just clear and full. Those are the two words I free. would use. Free. That's what it was. It's still very clear, free, and full. Mm. And those are really great adjectives to describe what, <laughs> like, you want in singing. Yeah, those are our goals all the time. Clear, free, <laughs> and full. I would love to sing like that all the time. And it was like, again, not a super, like, exciting melodic line. Yeah. But it was all of those things. Because a lot of people can do it in, like, the, ex the, the yes. extremes of the range. If they're singing yes. really high, they can have a really br vibrant, high, clear voice. I think I'm one of those. But right. when I get into my middle range, and my lower range, it loses all of its like richness and fullness, mm. and feels like he's got just a mastery of of that of entire that. range of his voice. One hundred percent. Let's keep going. Okay, gotta, gotta, gotta listen to that one again. Talk to me. Can we make up in the morning? She got Yankee Ed right now. Don't worry. Right now. 
Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Right now. That is Ooh. gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I also love Can We Make Up in the Morning? And it's oh, so oh. full, so free, yeah. so nice. It doesn't look like he's trying super hard. No. It is it is be- it's great. And I feel like another thing we talk about too, like there was obviously like a a pretty large leap in mm-hmm. range and register and he was in tune right away mm-hmm. and he went from, you know, a little bit more soft spoken to like fuller voice and it just Mm, it just gave me all of the like energy that I think you want. Yeah. Right. Well, and a lot of times when people have high notes and they have to start on a yeah. high note, they hit it. Exactly. They go, Can we make Slap right? It. They have to. They and they like kind of have to do that in order to hit the note. And it doesn't feel like that here. It feels like no. you can just go. You can just breathe out and say, "Can we make up in the morning?" Yeah. And Gorgeous. It sits in a really nice place. Hundred percent. Really pretty. Okay. Let's, let's get back going. into this. Yeah. What? So something I'm finding with the chorus is he gets a little bit of that uh, can we make up he's kind of he's kind of mm-hmm. uh i think it's sitting back a little bit more mm. and i think that just adds a little bit more push to it yeah it's definitely sure. something he's going for on purpose right, right, i think right. it's just it's it's a vibe right mm-hmm. um but uh but yeah that's just something i'm something i'm hearing i think he can do it you know yeah. really light and easy but i think that's just the the kind of like he's the going style for. yeah for sure, for sure. i think it's the sound he's going for but you're also you're saying like as opposed to it being in a more forward place yeah. and like resonant place which i think we heard on the first chorus and i also think he does that later in the chorus like it's always that first can we make up yeah and i i don't know you know to me listening to how he sings everything else yeah i feel like it's 100 percent. you know we mm-hmm. talk about things you can growl yeah or you can have rasp in your voice right. you can even like do stuff that would potentially you know tire you out quicker Mm -hmm. but as long as it's intentional yeah you know here's some food for thought too so he's obviously going back and forth between korean and english like there's different phrases and the like you're saying that that first line of the chorus can we make up is a little bit further back yeah and that's in english and then i think also sometimes when he finds himself we talk about this a lot because we've reacted to a lot of Korean singers and singers who sing in Korean having really great vowel placement because I think the language. <coughs> I tried so hard. It's okay. <laughs> um, we talk about a lot of singers who sing in Korean having a little bit of an advantage because it feels like the language yeah. naturally has a little bit more forward placement. Yeah. Um, and uh, compared to English. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. In, you know, in English, we have a lot of these wah, 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 yeah. you know, backward kind of vowels um, that are swallowed a lot. Right. And we chew on stuff a lot. You and know? not super friendly for singing, which yeah. is why we bring it up. Because it has nothing to do with, like, yeah. good or bad. It's just literally, like, harder to sing sometimes with that forward placement that we aspire for. Yeah, especially as, a, as native English speakers, we're constantly fighting against that. Yeah. But even that time, so like that time he was singing nah. in Korean. Oh. But oh, I'm gonna back it up. Okay. Yeah. 
Da, 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 da. Yeah. I think he's just adding a little bit mm-hmm. of, you know, effort. Uh, yeah. Um, well, it is like kind of like, um, I mean, it's R&B, but it's a little like uh, gritty. Yeah, heavy, gritty. Yeah. Yep. The song. It, yep. I think. I think that's, uh, I'd love and to style. listen to more of him because I'm actually really, really enjoying his voice. We could continue to listen to more <gasps> of him. Good idea. Can we make up in the morning, baby, baby, to see you cry, baby, baby, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, hey, yeah. They got no time to get a kid in the park, for some money, I don't know if I'm not out of joke. I have to talk about that uh that you know head voice little run mostly what i where i really loved was as he took his falsetto head voice whatever you want to call it down mm-hmm. and that's a thing that you have worked on specifically in your voice yeah to help that mix sure. right to help find that mix and when we talk about mix we're talking about you're not just singing in your head voice and you're not just singing in your chest voice yeah. um in that area of your passaggio in that area where you struggle where you have a break where you have a flip you combine the two and it's a mixture of both so that way you have ease of like transition transition yeah. that way it sounds the same fullness yeah. all the time it's not very noticeable exactly you know, people can't tell if you're in if you're singing full voice or not unless you choose to yeah. like that's a different story but what we're talking about is like being able to have that flawless transition um and really nice sounding transition is kind of a goal of ours and it yeah. sounds like he it's a skillful thing. navigates it's, that. it's a skillful, skillful thing yeah. yes for sure yeah. oh, so I, this is a vocal channel. I know, but. but I love guitar. And I have guitars and I play guitar. Mm-hmm. Um, I play even guitars. I have multiple guitars. guitars. Um, they're so rare to see a guitar, like a ripping guitar solo like that um, in a lot of modern music, especially right. like a smooth R&B jam right, right, like right. this. But That's loved awesome. It. Loved it. That's so awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I like that that was a live performance. Um, I think there is a killing voice. Ooh. That he has, oh. and so that might be something we Comment yeah want to check if you out. Want to see the Killing Voice? I know we do. If we you haven't seen see Killing Voices in general, <clears throat> they are as they sound. Um, they kill your voice. They no, just not really. This kills. I think it just it's, kills. Every I think time. it's great for us because it's a it. test to the artist. Oh. Like they're not short. And it is just bam, 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 bam. You sing, 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 especially if it's just you. And it's kind of highlights of their their catalog and stuff. It's it's really good. That's a huge deal. So let us know in the comments below if you guys want us to react to his killing voice. Um, Otherwise, that's super impressive. And I really, really like his voice. And I'm... I'm excited to hear more of him. Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much. This dude is awesome. So good. This dude is amazing. Yes, and this is a great video to react to. If you guys want to sponsor a video and have something in mind that you would like for us to guarantee 100% react to, well, you can find the link to ha- for how you can sponsor a video in the description box below, and we'd love to see your guys' suggestions. If you like this video, please give it a like, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We are Chase and Leah. We'll see you soon.